Last time we showed that given a monad T on a category E, there are at least two distinct constructions of a joint situations inducing T. We are able to compare such constructions by giving all such joint situations inducing T a categorical structure. The category of T inducing a joint situations, denoted adj T, has objects of a joint situations inducing T. Note that the unit, eta, is the same for each object, since the joint situation must induce the monad T. And morphisms in this category are those functors K between the domain categories such that they respect the structure of the adjoint situation. In other words, we have KF equals F prime and U prime K equals U. Then since the composition of functors is associative and the identity functors act as identity morphisms of this category, the category of T-inducing adjoint situations is a well-defined category. In the subsequent, we'll need the following result. Given a morphism K in the category of T-inducing adjoint situations, we have the A prime morphism K epsilon A equals epsilon prime K A for each A object, little a. Let's prove this. Since eta is the same for each object, which is an adjoint situation in the category, the following diagram of Homsets commutes. Note that the equalities here come from the definitions of morphisms in the category of T-inducing adjoint situations. The isomorphisms on the top and bottom here are those given by the adjoint situations. Then if this square commutes, the square with the inverse to the iso must also commute. Remember that the iso of the adjoint situation is given by applying the right adjoint functor to the morphisms and precomposing by the unit. So the top morphism takes an amorphism f to uf precomposed by eta x, while on the left-hand side, the functor k takes f to kf, which is also a morphism from f prime x to ka. We can then apply the isomorphism induced by the adjoint situation to give us u prime kf precomposed by eta x. Again, remember that eta x is fixed for both of these adjoint situations, which we can then see is equal to uf precomposed by eta x by the equality u prime k equals u. So since this diagram commutes, the diagram with the inverse morphisms must also commute. So now we can prove the claim by putting ua equal to x and chase the identity on ua. The identity on ua is taken to the co-unit in a on small a by the isomorphism. Then applying k, we have k epsilon little a as a resulting element coming from taking the high road here. If we take the low road, we have the identity on UA being equal to the identity on U prime KA, which is then taken to the co-unit epsilon prime KA by the isomorphism of the adjoint situation. Then since we know that this square commutes, as we showed before, we must have the equality of K epsilon A equal to epsilon prime KA.